Welcome back, everyone. Well, certainly it's a scene that was commonplace years ago on the Lower Mainland. In our hot real estate market, you'll remember this lineups in the streets to buy into pre-sale condo projects. Well, as Brian Coxford explains tonight, that scene played out once again today as more than 400 homes along the Canada Line went up for grabs. Some have been here camped out since Thursday. At 7 this morning, about 150 prospective buyers were waiting to scoop up 415 condos in a pre-sale at Cambian Marine in Vancouver. At the Marine Gateway Project, it's all about amenities and getting around without a car. Two towers with an 11-screen cineplex below, a TNT supermarket, and many more entertainment and retail outlets all here when you move in. It's, it's always location, location, location. But I think as we move along, the, the transportation, transportation, transportation. It was built for the Olympics and was an instant success. But now we can see one of the long-term benefits of good transportation. The Canada Line is a two-minute walk away from the Marine Gateway site. And the main reason why many of the buyers, particularly the young, want to live here. The SkyTrain is a big seller, yeah. It's convenient. I love having the Canline right nearby. I work in Surrey, so it's great to be able to take the Canline downtown and transfer. It's a lot faster than taking a bus. The prices here range from 269000 to $1.1 million for the penthouse. Half of them, with two bedrooms, average 350000 And in less than four hours, they would all sell. We didn't have much choice. We just bought one bedroom unit uh, with no parking. Uh, okay, now you got here a bit late? Yeah, no, we were on time. Your card that you have is your passport. It guarantees you will not lose your priority. You would have to go back to the Woodward's pre-sale downtown in 2006 before the collapse of the world financial markets to match it. And at Woodward's, with similar prices, it took 12 hours to sell 536 units. This is this is big for us. If you, if, Brian, if you had phoned me three weeks ago, I wasn't sure whether we were going to put one tower or two towers up for sale today. But they all sold today. Does it mean the real estate market is turning around? The experts say you can't judge it on one sellout. But driven by the combination of amenities and good transportation, it shows people will buy. Vancouver is banking on that with plans to build 5,300 new units along the Canada line in the next 12 years.